I'm gonna say something on this interview that I never said before. December 10th through the 12th was the hardest for me this year because I was at, when I disabled my Instagram, mm -hmm. I had went, this is my first time ever speaking about this publicly. I had put on Twitter all my friends and my family for getting out my teachers. I love you all. It's over with. I was going, you know, the way of the samurai. Just smash myself because I was to the point I didn't want to live no more. What sparked that though? I wasn't happy. As men, especially as a provider, a lot of men don't speak about this, but a lot of men suffer in silence also. What's going on, YouTube world? This is your guy, Sills the Man. Uh, this video is near and dear to me, uh, so uh, let's just get straight to it. So as you see from the video uh, from Kevin Gates, uh, for those who don't know who he is, he's a, um, a rapper and artist and uh, pretty big. Um, and he was just, you know, demonstrating the, the struggles and the demons he went through. No amount of money can be a solution to your depression and to the demons that you're facing. When you're all alone by yourself in those dark rooms, no amount of fame or the the number of people that know you can can help you sometimes, you know. And also, you see the tragedy with uh, Regina King's son, uh, who just passed away from suicide too young. So in this video, I just want to talk about um, what's going on out in the world, and even explain some things in my world that relate to this. Our our men, our black men today, struggling with their mental world, uh, what's going on inside of them, um, and not feeling like they have a place to vent to or, or a place of help and aid. But going back to uh, Kevin Gates' video, he talks about how he was going through these things and he felt like he had no place to go to or no person to 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 vent to and, and really support him. You know, it, it's, it's more than words when it comes to supporting people. It takes a lot more than just talk one of the things people fail to realize is that um people sense things right they sense genuinity they they sense authenticity they they sense when you really care with them even though your mouth may say one thing and sometimes when you get advice and and, and and even from the ones who care about you the most your loved ones they tell you things and sometimes you just don't feel it also one of the things that struck me in his video was that he amped himself to 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 do this thing to 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 make this act of self-destruction he felt like that was his only option that was his last resort there were no other solutions until he met one of his fans at his gym who also said his music saved him from committing suicide but then you have the other flip side of the coin where as you look at you know uh regina king's son he probably felt like he had no one to talk to even his mother who was an absolute queen as I said early in this video, sometimes your loved ones can can support you and tell you things, but it just don't you just don't feel it. it. It just doesn't stick. It can feel like there's nothing that can save you. And that is one of the things that are not talked about in today's communication. The struggles that men go through. And I and as I said in my previous videos, men have to learn how to communicate. And I know it's 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 it's, it's harder to do than it is for me to say. But I am a pure example of that. Because if you don't, if you don't know how to communicate, take and receive, you can find yourself on this dark path to self-destruction. I mean, if you look at our black neighborhoods, there's more shootings than there is therapy sessions. There are more prisoners than therapists and mentors. There is something seriously problematic with that picture. When you don't have the resources or even the awareness to know that, that there are people that can help you and that some of these solutions don't even cost a dime. But if you're not aware to that, if you're not privy to that, then you feel like there is no, no help. There is nothing that can save you. That suicide is the resolution. It's devastating. And you know, as I said in the beginning of this video, this is near and dear to me because I remember, uh, story time, I remember when my best friend came to me one day, he was just like, yo, uh, call me. It's like, yo, man, like, uh, can we go out to eat somewhere? You know, just chill, you know, go to a bar or something. I'm like, sure, let, let's go. So I go to the bar and, you know, we're talking and talking and, you know, you know, having a good conversation. And then I realized the temperature changed. It went from jubilant to kind of melancholy. It, it, it darkened like it was a dark cloud that just came over the room. And um, I was like, bro, you all right? And he was like, to be honest with you, not really, man. And he was like, yo, 
I'm thinking about ending it all. And I'm like, Whoa. so pause. You know your boy Sills the man is good at talking. Um because I like I like what I do. Um but even me, I was dumbfounded. I like I my my whole my whole life froze. My 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 thinking froze. The cat got my tongue. Like I've I just absolutely just blanked out because I couldn't believe the words that he that just came out of his mouth. And I'm like, yo, this is my best friend of almost 20 years. Like we grew up together, you know. Um, so to hear him say these things, those words, you know, it, it you know, the the pain didn't even get to settle in yet. I was just it was just utter shock. So when I when I got back to my my my, my wits, you know, I had to, you know, jump in. As a brother, as a as a person who loved this man, you know, and I was like, "Yo, bro, like, I didn't cast any judgment on him. It was just straight, like, I want to save my brother." So you know, I jumped in and I was like, "Yo, like, why why are you thinking like that? You know, what's going on? Talk to me." So then he was telling me things that was going on in his life, and the whole time I am absolutely flabbergasted because he was saying things that I had no knowledge of. I was not aware of, you know, so that goes back to just how men keep so many things inside, man. I'm his best friend and he didn't even tell me all these things. I'm playing basketball with this dude, working out with this dude and never, not once did he come out his mouth and tell me the struggles that he was going through. And so all this, he, he's, he's telling me all these things. And I'm just like, bro, why didn't you tell me these things? You know, why didn't you talk to me about it? And I was like, you know what? It's it's okay you did. You know, I I just want you to be okay. And I just want you to know that you're needed. So I started to tell him, like, why he's important in my life. I'm telling him, like, bro, my future child is going to look up to you. Like, if I'm tripping or or my child needs another perspective, him, him or her is going to come to you. Like, yo, uncle, like, you know, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Also, I had to tell him how much I need. I'm like, bro, you are my brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, th there's no separation in that. Like, I can't imagine living life without you. You know, and then I start to say things that I've never said. I went to a vulnerable state that I've never been in. I felt like the, the, the necessity of saving my brother took over. It, it was just like I was in a break glass mode. And, you know, I just spilled myself, bro. And then, like... And me doing that, I saw his his eyes start to widen. I start and I started to see a light, you know, come in him. So in my mind, I was thinking like, bro, you didn't know it. You didn't know how important you are to me and, and to all of our friends and your family, bro. Like, and that's what a lot of these brothers, a lot of our brothers, are going through today. They don't even know how important they are, and that is why I, I will always spread love, and especially to strangers. Because in like in Kevin Gay's video, if it wasn't for that stranger who was his fan, he didn't know him. Who was his fan to tell him how important he was to him. The results of that day would have been devastatingly different. So to anyone who's listening, anyone who's watching this video, I want y'all to try better at spreading love. Telling your loved ones that they are important and why they are important. Look them in their eyes and tell them. It's okay if your voice gets shaky. You know, my voice got a little shaky just talking about my best friend experience. Like, because moments like that change your life. Not only did it change, you know, the, the person who's affected, but it changes you. Because when you go back home, you, you, you feel a different type of way. You appreciate life so much more. Because there are people out there who do not have the support system. And that is why it is so important to spread love, especially to strangers. Because you don't know what people are going through, what people are thinking it is free to be nice. It is absolutely free to be friendly. Tell your loved ones. Tell your men. Because once again, a lot of men don't feel like they get enough acknowledgement from those who matter the most. And I'm telling you this from experience. It's like the things we do, it's, 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 it's supposed to be looked at as things we're supposed to do. We're doing things. Good men do things out of love. We don't ask for nothing back. But it would be nice to get something back. And it don't have to be much. A congratulations, a, a, a tap on the back. A, I love you for, thank you. It does not take much. Those random affirmations of love and, and, and respect 
and support will go miles on top of miles. You just don't, un you don't even understand. The reason why this video is so important to me because I don't want y'all to give up. I don't want people to give up. Life is a gift no matter how people may try to spoil it. It is your gift. To my men, you are bigger than your losses. You are bigger than your issues. And I promise you, you might not even be aware of it if you just give yourself a chance. And by giving yourself a chance, getting out of your situations, getting out of your neighborhood, doing something and living a totally different life, finding a faith, finding something to stand on. I just gave you a tree of, of, of possible solutions that are all better than giving up because I promise you, life is so much more worth it. That conversation I had with my best friend, that was five years ago and he is still here today and he's started, you know, his business, he's thriving, you know, and I, I always check in on him. Like after that, I check in on my friends now. I, I give random texts and calls and if you cross my mind, I will talk to you. I will hit you up. There was a time where people would cross my mind, like, oh, I hope, she, I hope he or she is okay. But now if you cross my mind, I'm hitting you up. You know, I'm telling you, hey, just sending my love to you. I hope you're doing good. I hope you and the family are doing good. I want you to know that you are seen. Those are the cheapest gifts. Those are free. But the effect they have are priceless. Because I'm tired of seeing our people give up. And the crazy thing is, most times it's our fault. If there's nothing else I ever say in this world, I just want you to spread love. That's it. All right, so have a good night. Thank you for watching my video. I really want y'all to think about things. How you interacting with your loved ones and friends and and just look out for each other, all right? It's free. It costs nothing, all right? Peace and blessings. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. Bye. Show you how God work through people. I'm walking out the gym. White boy walked up on me. You know, kind of big. I see him in there like, he said, can I approach you? So dude walked up on me. He like, oh, he like, man, your music the only thing make this crazy world make sense. I was like, man, the world's a cruel place, man. Trust me, I know I'm laughing, but I know you, what I'm about, know to, what go you're about do. to go do. Yeah. So he was like, man, I was worried about you because you had disconnected your Instagram and your Twitter. Like, like the world needs you. Your music didn't kept me from committing suicide so many times. Man, you know what that That's dude crazy. Did? He cried mm -hmm. and he grabbed me. He said, if you do that, so many people gonna take their own life because you all we got.